Ryan, congratulations. Top of the league tonight. How's yeah. that feel? Yeah, really good. Um, you know, obviously we knew that before the game, um, but we've got to keep ta taking care of ourselves and you know keep pushing on. Difficult game mm. actually tonight, wasn't it? And maybe we shouldn't be surprised given Maidenhead's current form. Um, what made it so difficult, particularly in the first half? Uh, I think that low block from them. You know, they had them two banks of four, which we kind of found hard to break down. Um, the gaps between probably the midfield and the defence was probably too big. So for us to, to, to you know change our game and you know maybe go a bit longer and then pick up mm. the second balls, but you know credit to us second half. I think we come out come out strong and you know with the quality we have on the pitch, we're always going to score goals. I got the impression the gaffer might have been a little bit angry at our time. Yeah, he was a little bit angry, but um, you know, he's there to make things make things happen as well for us. So it was a kick up the backside for us, but you know, a good one. I think the fans as well had an impact in that second half because they came when you yeah. came out, they really gave you a lift. Yeah, well, I couldn't believe the sound when we scored that first goal. You know, I've not heard anything like that playing playing football. So that was great for us, um, and the backing we have here is you know amazing, and we want to want to entertain teams. So you know, it's good. It's eight wins in a row now, Ryan. If you're going to win a title, some games you do have to win ugly. You'll have seen that before in your previous clubs. Yeah, no, definitely. Obviously, first half wasn't great, but like we said, we put it right second half. And uh, to win three 0 at home when you've not played that well is you know a real positive. Have you had to find a different way to play as well without Scott Quigley in the side? Yeah, yeah. Obviously, Connor's come in and done really well. You know, Paddy and Connor worked the you know work the socks off. So um, for us to have them in front of us is, is really good. You know, them channel balls in behind where you've not got much of a platform to work off with Scott. Um, but you know everyone, everyone's pulling the weight. It was good to see the mood at the end of the game. I thought tonight you didn't over celebrate. Celebrated obviously, you didn't mm. over celebrate. It was as if like okay, that, that's yeah. one hurdle crossed. But you know, there's a lot more to come. Yeah, no. Obviously, we, we know we can we can do more in that first half. And you know, mm. performance is at Edgeley Park. We want to we want to entertain people. So um, we know we weren't up to scratch in the first half. But second half we put it right, and we want to take game at a time and, and keep pushing on. And you're getting amongst the goals at the moment, Ryan, as well. That was a nice strike today. Yeah, no, obviously it gives me a licence to get forward a bit more with the back yeah. three pushing on. So uh, with me, Will and Sars in there, you know, we're chipping in. <laughs> Tell us about that fluidity that you've got in the middle of the park, because the three of you do seem to rotate a lot. Yeah, no, we've just got that cohesion, you know, as a three, really. Off the pitch, we get on and as well on the pitch. So, you know, I think all three of us can do, you know, all different roles in there. So that's really important for us and, and kind of gets the team going. Listen, well done tonight. Eight wins in a row, top of the league. Yeah, cheers, John. Congratulations. Thank you. Cheers.